Hello students, myself Dr. Kiran Yadav. In this session, I will discuss about the conversion of one system of units into another using dimensional analysis <coughs> or using dimensional equations. The conversion of one system of units into another is based on the fact that magnitude of a physical quantity remains the same whatever be the system of its measurement. Okay, so basically uh, whatever system of units we choose, the magnitude of a quantity must be same in all the systems of units. So we have a quantity Q, uh, suppose an Ampere system, its value is N1 U1. Okay, where N1 is the numerical value and U1 is the unit. And uh, the value of this quantity Q in some another system of unit, say in CGS system of units, its value is N2 U2, where N2, N2 is numerical value and U2 is the unit. Let's take an example of weight. Kisi object ka weight MKS system mein 5 kg hai aur CGS system mein 5000 gram hai. 5 kg, yahan pe N1 ki value hai 5, U1 unit kg ye ho gaya mk system mein n2 u2 hai cgs system ke liye weight hai 5000 gram to 5000 ho gayi n2 ki value and grams ho gayi u2 ki value suppose m1 l1 t1 are the fundamental units of mass length and time in one system m2 l2 t2 are the fundamental units of mass length and time in the other system a b c are the respective dimensions of the quantity in mass length and time on both the system so the units of measurement of u1 and u2 of the equation on the two system will be u1 ki dimensions form mein hum likhein to wo jayega m1 is to power a l1 is to power b t1 is to power c U2 हो जाएगा M2 is to power A, L2 is to power B, T2 is to power C. अब using equation first we can write N2 as N1 U1 upon U2. Okay, so we can write N2 is equals to N1 U1 की जगह U1 ऊपर वाली equation two से value रख देंगे, U2 की जगह भी equation two से value put up कर देंगे. So N2 is equals to N1. M1 is to power A, L1 is to power B, T1 is to power C. Divide by M2 is to power A, L2 is to power B, T2 is to power C. So we can write this equation as N2 is equals to N1. M1 by M2 is to power A, L1 by L2 is to power B, T1 by T2 is to power C. If we know the value of M1, M2, L1, N2 and T1, T2, we can calculate the value of N2 using this equation if N1 is given and if N2 is given using the same equation we can find the value of N1 also and one thing you should always keep in mind is that this equation 3 is only applied after expressing the quantity in its absolute terms or absolute units this is because when m l t are in absolute unit the derived unit of the quantity involved will be in absolute units only the gravitational or practical units of any quantity are obtained by proper conversion ye process maine aapko ek example se samjhaya hai usme aapko zyada acche se samajh aaya hoga yahan pe agar aap confuse ho rahe ho ki kya kiya hai to aap ek par example wala process dekhna fir ye dekhna उससे आई होप आपको बेटर समझ में आएगा ठीक है हाँ थैंक यू